All right, welcome back to the next lesson in this course. You're getting closer to being able to go out in the world and actually be a Solidity developer and know what you're talking about. This is incredibly exciting. We've got a couple more lessons coming up. We have our NFTs. Then we're going to go into DeFi. Well, all of this is DeFi. Upgradable contracts, governance, and then a brief introduction into security. And then we can send you on your way to go start being a successful smart contract engineer in the space. So for our NFT project, let me do a quick overview of the code base that we're going to be going over and what we're actually going to be building. So here's the code base in my VS code here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating NFTs of these dogs, and we're going to be creating dynamic NFTs that actually can change and have their values change. And we're going to learn everything about what an NFT is, why they're special and what they do. And when we're finally done here, when we go up to our MetaMask, we'll actually be able to even import our NFTs and see our NFTs right in our MetaMask. Now, we're going to make two kinds of NFTs. We're going to make, first off, a basic NFT, which is just going to be this little dog, this little pug stored in IPFS. And then we're going to make a more advanced NFT where the entire NFT is actually stored 100% on chain, truly decentralized. And we'll learn a little bit more about the difference between those very soon. Additionally, the SVG on chain will change depending on some state that we give it. This is going to be our mood NFT. So it's going to change based off of our mood at the moment. So these are the two types of NFTs we're going to see, and we're going to be able to populate them into our MetaMask, which right now it's completely empty. Then we can go to a platform like OpenSea and actually start selling our NFTs or interacting with our NFTs or doing whatever we want there. So, and then we're also going to be finally teaching you all about what this ABI and code with selector that we saw earlier and, and that weird function selector thing that we kept hearing about. We're going to finally learn what those do. So strap in, let's get going. And let's first learn about what an NFT even is. So I made a video about NFTs a while back. For those of you who have never heard of an NFT, let's jump in and learn what those are. 